America's a terrorist. Killing the natives of the land. Killing and stealing has always been America's master plan. To control the earth and everything on it. To divide and conquer is all they wanted. America's a terrorist. Killing the buffalo that roamed the plains. Killing and slaughtering animals was turned into a game. Giving blankets contaminated with smallpox to the natives who were here. The beginning of germ warfare. The beginning of white fear. No respect for the land, the trees, or the air we breathe. And Christianity was an excuse to bring others to their knees. America's a terrorist with a slave system in place to take away the humanity of a darker race. Put people in chains, then beat them with whips. America's a terrorist, chewing tobacco and eating swine being mean and nasty to those who treated him kind. Take a pregnant black woman, cut her belly open, and let the fetus fall out. Stomp the baby in the ground to instill fear is what that was all about. Gang up on a black man, hang him from a tree, cut him down and set him on fire for everyone to see. America's a terrorist with a howdy doody grin and using the Bible to keep others in check while America commits all the sin. Thou shall not kill. That's not part of the American dream because the killers are thrill. They love to show on your TV screen. Romance the gun just for fun. Drop a bomb just for charm. Oh, this is the American way. And all of us talk about equality, justice, and peace. Spewing out of the mouths of governmental beasts. But every time blacks tried to find a way to do for self, the American terrorist wasn't having it. And fear is all black folks felt. Rosewood was a town where blacks tried hard to thrive. White folks burned it down, and many blacks lost their lives. Now there was a town in Oklahoma called Black Wall Street, where blacks had homes, a bank, and lots of money, and stood strong on their own two feet. But now you see the whites nearby, were jealous and just couldn't stand seeing blacks do so well. So they dropped not one but two bombs on the town in 1921 and created a living hell. America's a terrorist feeding off racism and greed, not caring, not sharing, but enjoying watching people bleed. Every time Jack Johnson fought, and beat a white boy in the ring, white mobs would kill blacks at random because a black man was boxing's king. All the wars we fought to try to win respect at home, but when the war was over, blacks were never treated like they belong, but rather the subjects of experiments at Tuskegee and other places. For 400 years, blacks have been fears of the vicious cruelty of the racists. Tried to march for justice and the civil right to be treated fair. Attacked by dogs, fire hoses, beaten by police, forced to live a life in total despair. Bombed the church in Birmingham while the children were in Sunday school. Took the lives of four little girls, yes! This terrorist is just that cruel. 
American terms is like a virus that's homegrown and spreads across the planet too. Selling guns and chemical weapons, gift wrapped in red, white, and blue. Soldier boys selling guns for hard drugs in exchange. It should be obvious by now that this country is deranged. And yet, we try to pledge allegiance to a flag that brings nothing but grief. And singing that old war song, oh, say, can you? That's the only American belief. America's a terrorist. And no one wants to admit and point the finger at others is the ironic part of it. Dropped a bomb in Philadelphia to wipe out an organization called MOVE. Kill unarmed women and children because the police has something to prove. And all the Black Panthers who are trying to help their community, wiped out by the FBI for trying to create black unity. Put drugs in the hood, set folks up for no good, kept unemployment high, education is laced with lies, turned the people against each other, made money more sacred than your mother, caused an avalanche of grief by trigger-happy police, locked the black man up in jail, made him think he was born to fail. And no place are you safe if you have a darker face. Henry Dumas, Amadou Diallo, Michael Griffin, Yusuf Hawkins, Eleanor Bumpers, Anthony Byers, Arthur Miller, James Byrd, Emmett Till, just to name a few, died at the hands of American terrorists. Oh no, terrorism here and a damn thing new. And AIDS, oh yes, AIDS, has become an epidemic all over the world where black people live. An evil virus created by mad scientists for people who only have love to give. The KKK, the CIA, the Michigan militia, and the police from coast to coast are the real American terrorists and the government is the host. So now America says it's ready to engage in World War III. Ah. But what goes around has come around. But you know what? You can't kill what you can't see. <laughs> 